number. This is the face I am making at your new kitten. Oh my god. So much so that I had to say it before I even say, hey everybody. So I'll say it now. Okay. Hey everybody. Welcome to Artistic License, my stream that we do um, every Thursday evening. Uh, we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today we're going to play in Final Fantasy X. But in way more important news, oh my god. Thumper got a kitten. Your kitten is so adorable. Thumper, it looks just like Screamer. Do you remember Screamer from when we were fostering those litters of kittens? That's what your kitten looks like. And oh my god, it's like, it looks like Screamer, I swear to god. I know you didn't get Screamer, but like, that's what this kitten looks like. I'm so excited for you. Oh my god, you have to tell me all about it. Tell me all about his weird shenanigans and, um, and habits, because all kittens have all the weird habits. And you got first this time, oh my gosh. And welcome in, um, Apost Apostle? Are you new to the stream? I don't remember your name if I've seen you before. I apologize. Um, I did not. I miss King so much, though. King actually went to one of my co-workers' moms, so I still get little updates about King every once in a while. Um, I might ask, I might ask for a, a King update for you. Um, new to the stream, not new to the scene. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, well, welcome in, welcome in. All right, guys, so a couple of things that I wanted to say, um, as y'all know, uh, we have reached 200 followers and we are having our 200 follower party on Saturday So if you can please show up. I would really love to have you there We're gonna do it just like the other party in the sense of like we'll do our inner stage window episode first And then we'll end the stream so that that's like its own VOD and then we'll bring the stream back and we'll do the party We're not gonna do 12 hours this time because that was crazy and in that last hour and a half I about died. We're gonna stream until 6 so we're gonna play um Jackbox from uh, 2 to 4 and then from 4 to 6 we're gonna play Among Us But it's gonna be the same as as far as like the VOD's not gonna get posted anywhere It's just gonna stay on Twitch and then eventually expire and I'm just gonna kind of let it go um, So it's just for us. It's just for you guys. It's a celebration of reaching 200 followers So not really a piece of content that we're gonna promote So I would absolutely love for you guys to join me because um, it's just gonna be all about fun and all about you guys Katie welcome in welcome in um, he must be getting big now. Yes, King is o Oreo. Um, Oreo's brother, uh, King's brother, um, is really big too. And, um, and I feel like he probably is caught up to King, but yes, uh, the coworker reports that King is still absolutely massive for his age. Um, if Oreo comes by, Thumper, I'll, sh I'll show you Oreo because he turned, it turns out that he's massive, um, for a kitten too. Uh, that's one of the ones that we kept. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, as you guys know, we love to start with a little quiz, so <laughs> I've got a fun one for us. I've got a fun one. It's really problematic, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Here we go. Could you fix him? That's our quiz, so let me show my screen. Okay, you guys can see. Could you fix him? Let's find out. This quiz is, um, it says, I'm Mouse Milf on Tumblr, by the way, so a milf is going to let us know if we could fix him. I can't imagine a better um, you know, a better candidate to let us know. All right, so my name is Karen. All right, what tools do you have to fix him with? Compassion, unconditional support, accountability, openness, etc. Um, a belt sander, circular saw, an impact wrench, and nail gun. <laughs> uh, gaslighting, emotional blackmail, threats, and covert sabotage. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, my bare hands, my big, rough, sweaty hands, and my brawny forearms. <laughs> All right, I have to be honest, of course. I have to be honest. These are my tools. Let's be real. I want it to be this, but it's just not true. Do you say I could fix him? Yeah, and I still think the OG is funny. <laughs> I say I could make him worse. I say silly variations of it, like I could run him through a pasta machine or whatever. No, I don't say that I could do anything to him at all. I don't say that I could do anything. Oh, no, I don't say that I could do anything to him at all. I read that totally wrong. Um, yeah, I mean, hello, my husbando in Stardew is Shane. I can fix him. In your mind, who is the him in the phrase, I could fix him? A real life guy, an evil and fucked up fictional guy, an immeasurably pathetic fictional guy, myself. <laughs> <laughs> An immeasurably pathetic fictional guy. I mean, I just said I just said Shane from Stardew, so y'all know who I'm thinking of. Um, my other cat dug the cucumber out of my backpack and chowed down in it. Oh my god! Oh my god, Thumper, that's insane. I've never heard of a cat eating a cucumber, but um, I support it. Uh, why are you trying to fix him? I love him. 
He's my fucked up little experiment. I'm a psychiatrist. I'm not trying to fix him. I love him, of course. I love Shane. Shane and his chimkins. Okay. Choose a man to fix. Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Ooh, that's a choice. Um, Hunter Biden from real life? <gasps> mm, no. <clears throat> Rick from Rick and Morty, also big no. Um, yep, I have a very hate-hate relationship with the Rick and Morty fandom. Uh, the Joker from the Joker. Well, that's a choice. These all suck so bad, what the fuck? We're going with the OG, Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. I mean, we have to, right? Yeah. Do you need to be fixed yourself? Yeah, sad face. Nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Ain't nobody gonna fix me. You just have to deal with my idiosyncrasies. Sorry, not sorry. What constitutes a fixed man in your perspective? He's responsible, motivated, polite, and treats me well. His nuts have been removed like a fixed dog. <laughs> that sounds like some fanfics I've read. Okay. Um, he acknowledges his true destructive nature. Mm. He is fixed in space and can no longer move from that position. Oh, boy. No, it's this one. It's this one. Okay. Tell me a guy you think you could fix if you want to. I never answer these, but it's Shane. I'm just not going to type it. You could fix him. I know I could. I know I could. That's I'm the fixer. Okay. You have the compassion and support he needs to res all of his emotional issues and the accountability he needs to stop being an asshole. But you still don't deserve to be put through this unless you're actually just his therapist, then go ahead and fix him. <laughs> um, it looks like most people get on this. You could make him worse or you would have no effect on him. Um, you could fix him in the veterinary sense. I love that that's an answer on this quiz. Um, let me just say, honestly, there are some men that would be fixed that way. <laughs> I love that you censored out the E in men as if it was like some kind of um, weird tweet from like an anti-adjacent person. It's just like it adds to the whole mood. Like, I just love it. I just love the idea of um, of an anti being interested in fixing men like that. <laughs> the vet sense one. That's what I got. Oh, Thumper, copy and paste it to me. I want to know what it says. Um, what does the vet sense one say? Because um, that one amuses me quite a lot. Actually, on Facebook, you can get banned if you say stuff like, what? Really? Well, I don't go on Facebook anymore, so I have no idea. Literally, every post on my Facebook is because I marked the box to cross post on my Instagram. And that's really seriously just to make sure that my mom sees my pictures. Um, I don't actually go on there. So like when she or, or her friends or whoever's still on Facebook comments, I'm very sorry, guys. I don't see your comments, even if we're like bestie best friends, because I just don't go on, on Facebook anymore. Um, oh, this was weeks ago. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you did it before. Of course you did. This is, I mean, this is a classic you quiz. It's really good. Okay, guys, um, let me pull up the game. So we're gonna, we're gonna be done with that. I could fix him. I knew I could. I knew it all along. All right, let's make the volume go. Can y'all hear that? Yes, it looks like you can hear that. Okay, here we go. Okay, and resume found the game. All right. Turn back on controller. Um, child is attacking your lights in the background. Child! That one's, that one is Oreo. Do you see how big he is? Like he's kind of standing up, not even full height. Let me go grab him for you. So you can see the size of this boy. Hello, Oreo. This thing is only four months old. And look at him. He's like, he's so long. He's, he's so big. Like, how are you only four months old, sir? How? I don't understand. He's massive. Yeah, he's like literally twice the size of Lady. Um, Lady's the other one. And, and he's, he's like huge mungus compared to her. It's ridiculous. All right, guys. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I just don't even know. Like, um, I us we usually don't get kittens, right? We usually get uh, cats adult cats, but my roommate's cat, Ash, um, actually he did get as a kitten. And so, um, I kind of saw that cat grow up somewhat. Oh good, that's what I was looking for, an ogre. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah. and that cat really was very small, like, for the whole time, and then, like, had this massive growth spurt around two years old. <laughs> So, um, so I don't even know. I don't know what to expect from Oreo. He's like so big, so fast. Your little man's only three months old, so he's a very small boy. 
He's probably small like Lady is. I can hear him still messing with the lights back there. Bad boy. I can't stop them, you know, they're at that age, like, and you can't, you can't really discipline a cat. But like, I try to tell them no, and it's just like, all they hear is later. <laughs> so like, we're doing our best, but um, it is what it is, you know. If he destroys the lights, I'll just have to buy new ones. That's just gonna have to be how that is. After a year, they kind of get thick like they round up. That's exactly what happened to, to this, to Ash. Ash was like a skinny little girl, like skinny, tiny little girl for like all of her life. And then all of a sudden, she like, bloop, like she filled out, you know what I mean? Like all of a sudden she was like cat shaped instead of bean shaped. <clears throat> it was crazy. All right, so what we're doing first is we're gonna try to finish up some of this um, monster hunting in the calm lands, trying to get the rest of the ogres. They're, they're pretty rare spawn, but Hopefully they should be around here if we go here. Oh, we still need Malbro, so I guess we can get him too. Um, let's go ahead and overdrive. Now I've been saving this one for you. Yeah. So we can do that. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna play a game of Bit Blitzball, and then we're gonna go into the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. I think it really doesn't take a super long time to finish the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Um, so that's why we're gonna do some of this other stuff first while we're kind of waiting for some other people to get in today. Get into the stream so everybody can see the cavern and help me um, with naming the, the spoilers um, Aeon that we're gonna get today. Which is less of a stop damaging my electronics of more don't electrocute yourself. <laughs> the wires are oddly very tasty to cats. I know, right? Like, um, they can't fit very well back there anymore, but behind the entertainment center no was a huge draw for them when they were small enough to be able to fit back there and like run straight through it. You know what I mean? So it was like really crazy. It was like really crazy. Um, they would go back there and just run and play and run and play and eat cords and run and eat cords and run. And it was like, oh my god, stop it. <laughs> um, every time I see you play this, I want to replay. You should replay it, Bree. This game is fantastic. I mean, I'm just, I'm really digging it still, you know. And we're not even really, we, we've still got, you know, a couple things to do in regards to, like, reaching the end game stuff. Okay. Don't attack it, Waka, because you'll heal it. My turn now. Yeah, your turn, Titus. Yeah, Bree, we're still in um, optional Aeon and Celestial Weapons mode as far as what we're working on. But last stream we finished a lot of Celestial Weapons. It was really satisfying. So this stream we're actually not working on any Celestial Weapons, except we are going to probably play a Blitzball game. Um, but uh, we're really just going to make sure that we get the Cavern of the Stolen Faith optional dungeon finished. Let's do it. All right, we do need another Malbro, so that's good. Oh, I keep forgetting Titus can't attack him. Oh, apparently Kimari can't either. Only Orin. Okay, well let's get Waka in here. Back on the field. Back on the field. That's right, Waka. Um, you're definitely much more ahead than last time I tuned in. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember when you were here last, but I, I think, uh, we were- I think you- you were here while we were working on the Celestial Weapons and stuff, so you've seen some of the end game, but we're quite a lot farther in that. Hey, Kay! Welcome in, welcome in! By the way, I'll say again, I said it at the very beginning of the stream, but just to make sure everybody hears, um, definitely you guys in- in here, Bree, Thumper, Kay, um, Apostle, you're invited too, of course. Uh, 200 follower stream party happening on Saturday. So, um, you guys be there or be losers, I guess, I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh good, okay Bree, I wasn't sure. Oh, Waka was so confused he killed okay. the Malbro, that's fantastic. Yes, good job. Yes, of course Kay, you're invited. I posted it in, um, posted the details in Elixir, if you want to see, um, there the, stre the schedule. Um, but, uh, but yes, you guys should definitely come to the pate. Alas, the small man is having a vet appointment. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you'll have to come just in for a little bit before or after the vet appointment. Um, Thumper, so I'll say this, Thumper, you do not have to, like, come to the whole party, but you need to at least show up, because I have a very special surprise for everybody, um, you included. So, just at least show up for a little bit, and that should be fine. Honorary loser of the Losers Club. Uh, aren't we all, Bree? I mean, far be it for me to call anybody a loser. <laughs> 
I don't think I have anything going on Saturday, so I'll try to pop in. Fabulous! We're gonna be playing Jackbox and for the first part, and then Among Us for the second part. Um, so that's that's the games. Uh, whatever interests you the most, or you know, whichever. Um, all of those, of course, are very easy, like hop in, hop out type of things. Yes, Among Us. I know it's like not super popular anymore, but uh, but I still really like it. So and you know, it's one of uh, Landon's favorites, my Saturday co-host. So. I need to get Jed in there. Yes, Jed is absolutely welcome to come play Among Us with it with us. <laughs> uh, the Jackbox segment is going to be between two and four thumpers to give you an idea. So that's two and four Eastern time um, to give you an idea if you want to try to plan to come to some of that. Yeah, two to four. You can make that? Oh, yes! Okay, so yeah, come to the Jackbox part. It'll be really fun. You should be free after two. Oh, okay, well then you can come to the whole- you're, you'll be there for the whole party then if you want to be. Um, because all you'll miss is the regular Interstage Window episode that we're doing, which we're doing uh, Mulan versus Mulan. We're gonna compare the two Disney versions of Mulan. Uh, so that's what you'll miss, but that part will be vaudded, so if you are interested in that and you're missing it, then you'll be able to watch it on YouTube later. Ooh, Oren needs a Healy. Oren needs a Healy. Okay, we're almost done with actually the amount of Malbros that we need. Oh, I didn't mean to get Lulu. I meant to get Yuna. To heal the Oren. All right. Let's Kira. Let's Kira the boy. Two Disney versions, you mean the right one and the wrong run. Okay, okay. <laughs> You might want to come. You might want to come to this stream, Kay. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to say too much because it's uh, it will be spoilers for for Saturday. But um, mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Things and stuff. <laughs> uh, yep. What a pretty little monster! I want to pet it. Yes. The Marlboro. I do like this design in particular for the Malbro, it's really cool. See ya. Can see if y'all can see. The Oreo is drinking water right now, so you can kind of see him like down here. He's like right there. Right there. Alright, I'm not finding a lot of ogres, what's happening? But I am finding Malbros, and we only need one more of those, so that's good. Don't need you guys. We got plenty of you. But I build adopt any of the kitties I've given life my life for Oreo. <laughs> well, we still have Oreo, so you get to see him. He does. Um, I love how like he has like a very a very wide face. If that makes sense, um, it makes him look like he's always very curious, like all the time. And uh, Chiranj, oh, I have seen that video, Thumper. I know what you're talking about. Um, I saw that video when she first posted it, uh, back around when the movie came out, and, uh, yep, <laughs> I have to say, I finally got around to watching it myself for this episode, but after I watched her video, I was like, yeah, I don't need to see that movie. <laughs> uh, but I went, and, I went and watched it, of course, so I could have my own opinions and, and own analysis for this stream. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I also enjoyed that video, though, very much. Um, Oreo death belongs in groups that are dedicated to dying for cats. Absolutely. Oreo is a special little boy. Um, one thing that's really cute about Oreo is, is Ash, um, Jeff's cat, my roommate's cat, um, still doesn't want to be friends so with the kittens. The like, time. Ash is so not interested in Oreo or, um, Lady, like, n interested in neither of them. And, uh, and Oreo still every day tries a little bit to be friends with Ash, like approaches Ash, tries to play with Ash, um, and Ash just is not interested, like just not interested. It's, it's, uh, it's very right adorable. Um, Oreo tries so hard. I like how the creators tweeted her back like, yeah, I was the one that forgot to give them dinner. Oh, oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Oh, there's another ogre. That's good. That's what we want. Yeah. 
these ogres right here are the hardest, I feel like, to get in the Calm Lands. Very annoying. But this little corner, they spawn the most, typically. Um, it's a little bit varied. The way that the spawning works in this game, like, it, it's it's also based on, like, a seed um, from the beginning uh, when you load the game, so. But generally, they spawn the most over here. Jane, welcome in, welcome in! Poor Asha. Oh, Asha, Steve from Stranger Things, suck with the kids he never wanted. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, Ash does not run the house, so... Yes! Thumper's here! I was so excited to see them. It's been so long. It's been so long since I've, I've seen Thumper. Oh, Thumper, tell me, um, what happened- what happened with your Thursday schedule, if you're okay with sharing? Like, did- did something, like, change at work, or, um, or at home, so that you've got a chiller Thursday evening? I just- I feel like I need a Thumper update, because it's been so long since I've talked to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I do still need more flame plans, so this is fine. Let's get Kamari in here. My work project's finally wrapped up Monday. Oh, isn't that a nice feeling when you finish um, some a bunch of important projects at work? I very much enjoy that feeling. And I finally got out of the lab. Oh! Oh, you're not actually working in the lab anymore? So what are you doing? Um, are you still working for the same company? Just like, maybe a desk job? So now I can just analyze and write. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Thumper. That's really cool. Landon, oh my gosh, Landon, you made it to a Thursday no stream. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Y'all, Landon is so busy with um, with school, with her job, it's like ridiculous. Um, so everybody should be very uh, happy to see her in here this evening, because she is working her freaking ass off. Oh, you're still in the lab, but not working on my own stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's cool, though. That's cool. It'd be nice to have kind of more of a work break, right? So I think that's really good. All right, let's bring Yuna in, do some heals. By the way, I can what other kinds of games do you enjoy? Um, I know you kind of like sim-like games and Final Fantasy, interest in anything else. I mean, that really is like the main stuff. So um, Pokemon, that's another game type of game that I really like. Someday, someday, somehow, I'm going to do a Nuzlocke on this channel. Um, I don't know when that's going to happen, but uh, but that's in the plans. Um, I'll give you all a spoiler since Kay asked. This is, this is special since Kay asked. Um, Recently, they just re-released a new version of Myst, and um, I played through it, and the reason why I had to play through it first is because it's a first-person game, and for those of you guys that don't know, um, I cannot really play most first-person games anymore. I get simulation sickness really, really bad, so I kind of can't. So I had to play through the game and make sure it was something I could tolerate, because I really, really want to share it with you guys. Like. There are just certain pieces of media. Yeah, yeah, I tweeted. I tweeted about how to make it work if you also have simulation sickness like me. Mine's pretty mild though, so it's probably not going to work for everybody. But um, there are just there are certain pieces of media that just like I don't know how I don't know how exactly to describe it, but they're just they're part of my soul. Like they're just they're so they're so ingrained into me into my creative process that they are almost like something like spiritual for me or something like pure pure art for me um i'll have to think about how i want to explain this when i stream it but i am planning on streaming that game in a couple of weeks and I'm probably going to divide it into two parts so it'll be short streams because again the simulation sickness i don't want to kill myself Playing it for two hours straight, frequent breaks really does help with simulation sickness. So, that's that about that. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that's that's another if game that I love, so. and and I really do like a lot of adventure games. But um, but Mist has a very special place in my heart as far as those types of games go. Um, I have so lost the conversation. Um, the first time I saw FPS PS4, it was crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I can't play any first person shooters. They're way too fast and cause like a ridiculous amount of simulation sickness. Also, I'm bad at them. So I don't really care that much. <laughs> you're working on it. Oh, you're still working on the name for the kitty? Oh, oh, we have to help Thumper with a kitty cat name. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm sad I'll never get you on Ark. That one definitely gives you a bit of distortion. Yes, I cannot play Ark. I tried when it was, um, when it was on the, the Xbox, but, like, the first person, like, really jacks me up, so, you know. And there's other games like that that I would love to play, but I really can't. Like, Slime Rancher is definitely something that I know would appeal to me and I would like to play. Um, but I tried, and I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Uh, there's no, no increasing the FOV or, um, or editing the settings that made that tolerable for more than, like, 30 minutes. After the Dragon Age, Himbo, not Crowley. <laughs> Faramir, Alistair, and Tiberius. I really love Tiberius out of those for a cat. I don't know. Just Tiberius seems very cat-like to me. Um, so that would be my vote. Tiberius, and I, I would probably call him Tibbs. Um, or Tibby. Or Tib-Tib. Uh, when I talk to him. <laughs> First person games are dumb, Mr. Jane. They're not dumb. I just, I really literally can't play them and it actually kind of breaks my heart in a way um it makes me f and i know this like this is ridiculous but it makes me feel like you know lesser as far as being a gamer goes um which is crazy because i'm not but it just really sucks when i see a game that i'm like gosh that game is clearly something i would like and then i load it up and i try to play it and i get through like 30 minutes and i'm like Oh shoot, I already have to take a break because I have crazy simulation sickness. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and it sucks. And I hate it. Tibber sounds like Tiger, but also Captain Wait, Kirk's huh? middle name. Yes, it does! Um, I don't know, maybe because it sounds like Tiger is why I feel attracted to it for a cat? Yeah, I feel that way when I see those crazy COD and Destiny streamers. Oh my god, those people are ridiculous. <laughs> I wish I had that hand-eye coordination. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like to get that good at hand-eye coordination, I would have to have spent time practicing it for the um, at the sacrifice of other skills. So um, I guess I don't necessarily wish for that good of hand-eye coordination, but I do admire. I do admire it. You know, I do admire it. I think it's pretty amazing. Tiberius and Chickadee both goofy names in very different directions. I know Tiberius and Chickadee sound good together too. Tibs, Tibs and Chicks. Yeah, exactly, Landon. Tibs and Chicks. I like that. I don't know, I'm I'm liking Tiberius more and more, Thumper, as I'm seeing the conversation and thinking about it um, for your kitty cat. Tibs and Chicks. That's very cute. That's very cute. And imagine if you had to take them to the vet at the same time. Like, I think you would get compliments on those names so together. You know time. what I mean? Alright, we need three more ogres. Hopefully should be around here somewhere. Jake, MS Strongshot. Yes, he um, he is very good at Destiny. I've watched some of his um, Destiny right streams back. before. And, um, oh god, he's nuts. He's uh, he's insane. Insane level of skill. Um, it has a, it's such authority for such a silly little man. Maybe he'll grow into it, Thumper. You never know. I mean, we didn't know Queen was such a queen when we first named her that, but she absolutely is the queen. Um, and we know that now, of course. Alright, do I have any softs? Yes, I do have a soft. I was gonna run away from you guys, but you had to go and stone Titus. That is so rude. Uh, I guess we can bring in Yuna and do some heals. Yuna here! Yuna here! Yeah, I'm definitely somebody when it comes to games that it's not about, like, the skill necessarily for me. Um, that won't go so easy I'm really focused time. on the story and the way that the mechanics, uh, you know, enhance or or don't <laughs> the story that the game is trying to tell. Uh, that's what really interests me about games and, and what, uh, what really draws me in. It makes me think that a game is, like, really cool and really good. Okay, definitely need more shreds and flame plans. That's awesome. Come on, Waka. Back on the field. Back on the field. That's right. All right, come on, Orin, to get this guy. 
I need to heal these babies up. Lunar! Hey, welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? Hopefully amazing. I know it should be from the update you gave me today. So I hope that you're that you're still feeling good about that and that's all going awesome. I'm very happy for you for sure. Woke up from a nap. <laughs> Live in the dream, my friend. Live in the dream. <clears throat> I wish I could have just woken up from a nap. <laughs> All right, let's heal up. Let's go heal these guys. There we go. Karen is training for Saturday. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm training for Saturday right now. <laughs> okay, come on, Titus. Let's run away. Yeah, it's gonna be super fun. I'm really excited. I'll be right back. I didn't even know, you know, I didn't even know for sure if like when I hit 200 followers if I was gonna want to do a party again, but I'm really excited about it now that it's planned. I think it's gonna be really cool. Um, and hopefully this goes this goes well. Oh, you ordered my book! <gasps> Lunar! Oh my gosh, thank you so much! Don't you, you already have a PDF copy though, don't you? I thought. I thought you had a um had a copy, but I, I know you don't have like a you know, cover copy. So I assume that's what you're saying, that you ordered. Yeah, but I wanted a hard copy. Well, I really appreciate it. I thank you so much. Um, let's bring Riku in, because he won't do any damage. There we go. Actually, I don't, I just realized, remembered, I got enough Marlboros. I don't need to kill this guy. <laughs> but I guess we can kill him and make sure. Boom. Poor Riku doesn't do much damage with her capture weapon. Farewell. Farewell. Yeah, Malbro capture limit reached. I was just on autopilot there thinking That's I needed to I battle the Malbro, but I totally didn't. We might, um, we might pause and go play Blitzball and come back to ogre hunting. They're just so rare. It's taking forever to find the 10 ogres. No problem. I won't go let's so do, easy let's on look, you next time. Let's look for maybe whatever groups come up. I'll I'll run I'll run manually back to the save point and uh, and see if any groups come up that we need instead of taking the Chipokabo. Yeah, nothing else came up. All right, well let's play Blitzball. Let's play some Blitzball because I did want to do a Blitzball game. A four. Okay, yeah. League. League, league, league. So we're going to be playing the Albed Sykes. Okay. Let's see if we can beat the Albed Sykes if we've been gotten good enough now. I feel like we've gotten way better at this, and hopefully we can win a bit more. Oh, he can get a third. What other shots does he have? Okay, we can do Wither Shot. That would be awesome. Lunar, I'm so happy that you're going to be able to be here. Are you planning on coming for the whole thing? Like, both games? Ooh, he gets another one, too. Um, what else does he have? There plus Pile Venom. What's Pile Venom? Um, cumulate to cumulate poison effects. Well, let's do this. Let's do Venom Pass, too. There we go. Um, Jasu still doesn't have any techniques he can get. Poor Jasu. His stats are good, though, so it's okay. We forgive him. Okay. Done. Okay. Volley shot. Yeah. Let's get him volley shot. Let's try to get Waka volley shot, too. That would be good for him. Okay. Venom pass. Um, oh, there we go. That would be good for you. Jasu, anything for you? Venom Pass, yes. Yuma. I guess Drain Tackle, that would be fine. Done. Yes, let's proceed. Heck yes, just like last time. Yeah! I'm excited. 
We're gonna do we're gonna do similar where we have like a, a VC and stuff. So if you're playing, you can join in the VC and all that good stuff. Um, I'll have instructions for how to do that. But basically, you're gonna have to get, gonna need to get the party goer roll, and that's where I'll post it up for joining the VC. And we're gonna use the Zoom like we've been using so far, and it works way better trying to do this over Zoom than using Discord's um, voice chat. We don't have nearly as many technical issues or interruptions using uh, Zoom. Yes, let's Venom tackle. Get him! Oh man, not good enough. Can't believe they got bigs on their team. Jeez. Catch it, Yuma. Yes, good job. I have a good goalie. I look forward to wrecking shop at the t-shirt game again. Hell yes! We are definitely playing the t-shirt game. I could not miss out on the t-shirt game with you guys. Ooh. These are not good break options. I don't like playing against the Albed Sykes. They're actually good. Gross. I hope I didn't do it right. I do love that he has Tackle Slip, though. Rin's an MVP in that regard. Oh no, he's gonna fumble. <gasps> no! Kiyuri. Awful. Dislike. Have to get that and download it. You don't have to download anything. So the only thing that you might want to download is Among Us. But for Jackbox, you don't have to download a thing. All you need is your phone. And you will be able to play. Why is he shooting up from all the way back there? Weird, Sassy. I don't think you're going to get through. Yeah, like what? Sometimes the AI just does the weirdest things. Oh yes, you do need to bring your enthusiasm, of course. Alright. Let's try this again. Um, pass. And try to pass to Titus. Don't fumble it. Fuck yeah. Good job, Titus. Okay. Um, okay, no break, and we're going to... Oh, he doesn't have enough HP to... <gasps> I was going to do a jack shot, but I guess he doesn't have enough HP because he's poisoned. Can he not do a jack shot when he's poisoned? Oh no. Oh no, no. This is a problem. This is a big old problem. Alright, come on guys, get it back. Yeah, Venom Tackle. Good job, Nada. Okay. Um, gonna have to no break. Hmm. My peeps are all poisoned. It's not good. It's not good, guys. At least they haven't scored yet, but holy crap, I gotta score. <laughs> I gotta score something! <clears throat> Good job, Rin. Maybe since you're not poisoned, you can actually, like, get a goal or something. Your shot is terrible. Welcome back, Kay. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's midnight. Tell him I said happy birthday, too. Man, I was in his stream right before I started mine. He's so drunk. <laughs> he looked like he was about to pass out in his chair. No lie. Um, <laughs> I don't know how he was still sitting up straight and uh, staying awake. He was like slurring like crazy and like about looked like he was about to pass out. Um, he's strong. He's strong. <laughs> Classic Wabs. Oh yeah. All right. Let's try to let's try to shoot with. Baka. Well, at least I learned the tech. Ah, oh, I didn't get the shot, but I poisoned the goalie. I guess that's something. Come on, Titus. Why don't you try to shoot here at the very end? Oh, now I can do it. I guess because he's not poisoned anymore. I guess when you're poisoned, you can't use techs. I didn't realize that. Crappy. 
Come on, Titus. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Mother! You bitch. I had that. I had that in the final moment, and then he had to go catch it like a dick. Rude. Has it been explained why there's a sport that involves poisoning? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, because it's Final Fantasy. That's the best I can tell you about that, Jane. <laughs> Alright. Did Yasu learn anything? I did. I feel like I did. Yeah. Okay, so he's got a tech now. Fabulous. Does he have two techs? I feel like I did good actually pushing the buttons right to get people their techs this time. Done. It's the weirdest shit in the game so far. <laughs> Out of all the weird shit, that's the weirdest, you think? Okay, yes, I still want that. Okay, Rin, is there anything else? I guess you can have volley shot too. Why the F not? Uh, Jasu. Nap tackle. Okay, that's still fine. Uh, yep. Done. Proceed. Alright, we have to score. We have to score a point. <laughs> we can't just stop them from scoring. We have to score too. That's how we win. Now I'm gonna look this up. I don't know. Most of the theories about Blitzball are like, how do they hold their breath for so long? I don't think anyone really asks why poisoning is um, a possibility in Blitzball. I mean, they can put you to sleep too. It's not just poison. Like, they can do other status effects. There's like poison, wither, and nap. So, you know. There's a couple things they can do to you. Come on, Nada, you can do it, you can do it. Give it to him. It's not how we give it to him. Good job, Yuma. At least she's an awesome goalie, so they can't score too, but like, damn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we're gonna pass, Venom pass. Oh, uh, no, bitch! Um, what kind of place is this? My goodness. It's Final Fantasy, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Can you imagine in the middle of the Super Bowl if someone loaded Manning up with Benzos? Like, what kind of game? Can you just drug people? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, football does get pretty intense. Um, remember when, uh, when the Saints had, like, that bounty rule? That was fucking awful. Um, not that not that they drugged anybody, but I mean, basically, like, kind of the same thing. Tackled them way too hard, you know. Stop passing the ball around and let me get it. God, guys. No break. Why? What are you doing? This is this is dumb. How is that no break? Jasu's right there. There's no way you can get it in from that far away. Yuma's gonna catch it. What is what is up with the AI this game? Um, first time I've heard of the bounty thing. Oh yeah, it was a big thing. Um, that's way old news though. This stuff several years ago. So, <clears throat> all right, who are we pass into? Um, there's no need to do a venom pass. Titus is over there. Yeah, let's give it to him. Alright, and then let's shoot. Mm, yep, let's break. And let's do a sphere shot. <gasps> no! You bitch! <sighs> Take half my AP when he does that! Or HP. Get the ball back. That was my shot. Thank you, Titus. Okay. We're gonna break. And we're gonna shoot. And we're gonna do a sphere shot. Again! But this time we're gonna make it in. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, it might go in. No! Nimrook is too good of a goalie. God! This is awful. You send out your brick wall skater and tell him to go get a penalty on the other guy's team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. <laughs> we finally won in sports by means of war crimes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ridiculousness. Oh no, I really wanted her to get that. We might actually make this shot. Get it, Yuma, get it. Ah, oh, thank god. I feel like I'm gonna like this game's gonna end up a tie with the way it's going. Okay. Let's no break. And then let's do a venom shot. Maybe I can at least poison the goalie. Nope, he's just gonna catch it. Ah, too good. Nemrook's too good. I swear to god. I don't know why he's passing. There's only 30 seconds left. Is he gonna try to shoot? Oh, come on, Nada. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, Yuma. Don't do me dirty. Good job, Yuma. At least it's gonna be a tie and not me losing. Could be worse. Which I insist is the plural of mongoose. No one's allowed to correct me. People who start stalking their teams with mongoose. <laughs> I agree, mongoose is the plural of mongoose. Okay, well, it ended in a tie. Boo on that. I wanted to win. But, um... Let's see, where am I at? Besaid, Orox, Ronso, Fangs, Elbet, Sykes. Okay. Wait, so I'm... I'm rank number one now. Oh, that's good. I thought I was rank two. Uh, I've got five wins, a loss, and a two ties. Titus is still number one, so that's all good. Besaid Orox team level is two, number of wins, seven. Okay. No, we're good. That's good. We, we did a Blitzball game. Okay. Let's had to take a break from them ogres. Let's try to go find the last three ogres, though. You're back from your in-depth research on the the top three links in Google search results and there's no answers. <laughs> I mean, if it's not in the top three links in Google, it's really not worth looking more into, you know what I mean? So I think you did exactly the right amount of research right for this back. question. I don't know, the only thing I can I can think is like, it's just, it's Final Fantasy and just things are a little bit different in Final Fantasy worlds. Um, you know, poison is just way more of like a thing that these people have to deal with on a regular basis. So of course it's in their sports, you know Out what I mean? My <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you! Well, I got the fries. I got the fries. Thank you. And a fork. Wonderful. You're the best. Mwah. You blew a kiss back, don't worry. I don't know if y'all could hear that over the microphone. Looks like Levi ordered some pizza. And at the pizza place. Um, Levi's not... <laughs> He's not an NPC. I mean, y'all have seen his hand and his arm on the stream many times. There was one stream where you actually saw his whole face. <laughs> now you see him! See? <laughs> Y'all will see him some um, during the party. As per usual, we had to talk about how we're going to handle, like, food and snacks and stuff that day. Um, since I'm streaming for much longer, so y'all will see him some on Saturday, too. Get ready! What snacks are y'all having? I mean, I know what snacks I'm having because Levi's going to make oh, yeah. them, but... What snacks are, are y'all having um, for the party? You gotta make You gotta make them yourself, I'm sorry, but... Um, you know, I'm really curious. Oh no, everybody's asleep! What happened? What ha happened? Yuna, come wake them up. This is not cool. Wake up, Titus. You might do cookies? Oh, what kind of cookies? Like chocolate chip? Like sugar cookies? What are we talking about, Jane? Something fancier? There we go. Alright, Asuna. Um, 
Orin. Get that ogre. So we only need two more. Hmm. Let's go. Runny chocolate chip ones that all stick together and become one big cookie. <laughs> Jane, that sounds amazing. If you actually make that and that's what happens, I would like a picture of your massive cookie sheet. Um, cause that sounds like basically you have a recipe that starts out as cookies and then turns into cookie cake, which um, I find incredibly amusing. Every time, consider it done. Oh, fabulous. These must be the best cookies ever if you've made them multiple times and uh, continue to let them, you know, run together like that. They must be like the tastiest cookies in the world. Thank you, Sir Oren. That won't go so easy on you next We're just gonna run away. Sorry, Yuna. Come here, ogres. Everybody start sending me your gamer energy for ogres to spawn. You guys know how to do it. You've done it for me before. You made it work out. So send me that ogre energy. Live and let live. They're pretty good, you're right, yeah. I have a um I have a sugar cookie recipe that I use when I need to make cookies. And like once you find that good cookie recipe, like you wanna make them over and over like that. But we prefer like crunchy cookies, right? Like I want them a little crunchy on the edges and um like really nice and chewy in the middle. You know? And I want them to stay like that even after they fully cool down. So you don't have to eat them hot to get that crunchy goodness. And so that's how my sugar cookie recipe works, and it's really delicious. Now, I tend to make like the batch and then like lots of small cookies. So little, little cookies. That won't go so easy on you next time. Come here, ogres. I just need two more. We're like so close to finishing the capturing in the calm lands. It's ridiculous. I don't need you, Malboro. I'll be right back. I really want to find these last two ogres before we go do the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. This feels right to me, you know? Because then I'll be almost finished with the Calm Lands. I still need some more Flame Plans and Treads, but those are easy to find. I'm gonna make something now? What are you making? Right back. Share with the class, Jane. What are you gonna make? I think I'm gonna do Nutter Butter Bars. Oh, that sounds so good. Um, put a picture in the media share so we can so we can see and enjoy them with you. We're in the kitchen now checking out the scene. <laughs> you gotta make sure you have the ingredients right. That's always fun in the evening when it's kind of like, you know, relaxed time. It's like, ooh, I want to make something, but then you have to know if you have the ingredients because after dinner, I ain't going to no grocery store. It's not happening. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about that, but that's how I feel. Oh my god. These ogres are too rare. You remember when we had little birds? Um that we had to go get in the live. Jose area. Oh my god, and it was so annoying trying to find 10 of them. That's how I'm feeling right now about these stupid ogres. Finding all the other ones, but not ogres. Oh, I need to switch her out so she stops wasting time. Put in someone slower. Okay. Whatever, I guess you can go attack, it's fine. Yeah, you can't do nothing. Okay, I'll be right flee. back. Now Titus will pop up first, and we can flee faster. Have any of y'all watched um the new American Horror Story season? I think it's only like two episodes out right now. Anyway, we only watched two episodes. I assume it's only two episodes out. Um, but it's, like, really good. Like, I'm really enjoying the hell out of it. Um, oh, I need Waka. What am I doing? It's kind of like a little bit of everything, right? It's like, um, there's, like, supposedly gonna be aliens and mermaids, but there's, like, these vampire things, um, and these zombie things so far. 
and it's kind of just like it's kind of just like crazy it really feels like to me like a supernatural rp i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that's how it feels like because it's just everything kind of thrown into this um this one town and the town has like very um you know uh shadows shadows of in mouth vibes right it's very like um lovecraft-esque uh and uh and it's it's really good so far evan peter's performance i am very impressed with um what we have seen uh in the first two episodes right. he is just like absolutely like owning this character that he has i don't want to give you too many spoilers if you haven't seen it yet but um but if you like evan peters uh he is pretty amazing so far in this season i hope it just continues that way you know Come here, ogres. I only need two more. No more Malbros. Gosh, I've got you already. Go so easy on you next time. RNG is just not one to be on my side, you know? And then the other person that's in this um, American Horror Story season that I'm really enjoying is, I can't remember the actress's name, but it's the old lady. She's been in several seasons so far. But anyway, her character in this is really excellent. I'm really enjoying her as well. Excuse me. And her and Evan Peters have a lot of scenes together. And um, they're just fabulous. You know, every time it's that it's centered on their two characters, I'm just like loving it. Absolutely loving it. But basically the plot is this this family full of creative people like the dad is a writer and the mom is like a um interior designer and they have a daughter who plays violin right they're also they're all like super creative and they move there um basically for for to be creative um they want to go into the middle of nowhere you know in the basically this tourist town that that no one's there in the winter and um so they're there in the winter you know with all the the crazy locals and that just speaks to me. You know, that speaks to me. If uh, if internet was any good in places like that, that'd be my jam. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Oh, yeah. There's an ogre. Alright, so I need to kill this one. And then I'm going to need one more after that. Okay, just one more ogre. And then we can go back to the southern area of Calm Lands and finish up the Flame Flames and Treads, which should not be a big deal. Those are pretty common spawns. Alright, let's do some Heelys. Come here, ogre. I just need one more. Just need one more ogre. Just need one more ogre. Just need one more ogre. Where are you gonna spawn? Not here. I'll be right back. Come on, we just need one more. I will go one so more. easy on you next time. Titus always thinks there's a next time. Little does he know. <laughs> Little does he know. There is never a next time. No, I'm done with you, Malboros. Live and let live. I just need an ogre. It's crazy. RNG games. I feel like this was the last, like really good game that still had like the random battles you know what i mean I random battles so are such a, a past relic of games and they had their place but now they feel kind of odd i mean even po the latest pokemon sword and shield doesn't have random battles you know not really i mean you can find them in the tall grass but you can also see the pokemon too so it's kind of like this modified system well, it feels way more modern I'll be right back. 
those random battles like institute this like level of RNG that can sometimes be really frustrating like when you're trying to do quests like this <laughs> where you're looking for certain monsters and you just kind of have to wait for the RNG to bless you with them. All right, well, there's another flame plan and shred, which I do need. So, oh, let's bring in Waka to get that little guy. Goodbye. So after this one, we only need one more flame plan and then two shreds. Uh, Titus, come here. Yay. All right, we're getting close. We're almost done with Calm Lands. So we need one more flame plan, two shreds, and an ogre. I feel like at this rate, I'm going to find the last flame plan in two shreds before I find the last ogre. <laughs> Even though I'm in literally the spot for ogres, not the spot for flame plans and shreds. I'll be right back. Come here, ogre. At least the music here is really beautiful and calming. So we get to listen to that in between these fights. That won't go so easy on you next time. I love the Calm Lands area, and how soothing it is. That won't go so easy on you next time! Okay, I'm gonna try a few more groups, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the Cavern of the Stolen Faith and then come back here to finish the... Um, <clears throat> to finish the, uh monster capturing quest out. Oh my god. I'm gonna run into everything else but that the freaking so ogres and I just need time. one more. Just one more. Game, please give me one more. Nope. You guys are That's not what I wanted. Live and let live. Come on. I'm gonna check one more. Then we'll pop on the trip boat. Yeah, it's not it. Okay. We're gonna come back. I'll be right back. So this is boring just fleeing over and over again. Alright, let's go to Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Um, hey, I was watching some of your videos on YouTube earlier, and I saw from one year ago where you read Little Snow White, and I've never seen that video before. Yeah, I did. I did a reading of that, but the video didn't do very well, um, and it was kind of annoying to edit and put together um, compared to other videos, so I never made another one. <laughs> uh, but it's definitely something I could go back to. Like, I'm not opposed to doing readings, um, but, uh, but I just never did. I never did. It didn't do well enough for me to be, like, interested in that format, you know what I mean? Okay, guys, we're going to go down to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. This was an area that we we kind of walked down here and we saw a little cutscene several streams ago, and we learned that Lulu, um, in a previous uh, time that she was a guardian, came here with um, one of her with one of her summoners, and the summoner unfortunately did not make it. They didn't make it, and they they got stopped here. So we're gonna save our game. And we are going to venture into the Cavern of the Stolen Faith, down here. Um, I needed the video about playing characters with skills you don't have. Yeah! I'm so glad. That's a, um, that's a really good one, I think. Alright, so this area is pretty linear. You can see this glyph here, this is gonna come into play later. But, um, it's pretty linear in here. These guys, okay, so here's how they work. You can, like, attack any of these eyeballs, and if you attack the right one, you get a prize. If you attack the wrong one, it explodes in your face. The prizes that you get from this, I gotta be honest, are, like, not that good. So, I just don't even bother and I run away from them. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Lunar. I did need that from eating those french fries. But this place is pretty linear. 
So we're just going to travel through here. And we do need to do some monster capturing in here as well. Um, these monsters are all capturable. Okay, let's, um, see... What's up with these guys? Okay, dark element, it casts reflect on itself. Okay. Alright, come back, Titus. Oh, okay. Gotcha oh, I'll sit up straight too. Thank you, Lunar. Ugh. All right. I was doing, I was doing a, an arm lean. I was in a pretty heavy arm lean. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Maybe I kill the Nidhog first. Okay. So this is one Nidhog and two Dark Elements. I guess this is the Nidhog. This is the same one that appears in um. Mount Gagazet? Yeah. Okay, so it probably counts as that one. That is annoying. Flecked. Rude. It cast it on itself. They reflected it back to me. That's awful. Rude no dark worry. elemental. Yeah. What's up? Oh, thank you. You like that? These are cheese things. Okay. Did I bring you that one? No, but I got tissues, so I'm good. Oh, yeah. Do they like my surprise? Food? Yes. <laughs> Jane loves you. Hmm? Jane. Jane. Mm -hmm. I love you too, Jane. Did you hear that, Jane? Hopefully she's not stepped away. She's not getting any pork. Oh, okay. Is that the pork lady? She loves, yes. Yes. Canada? Um, I don't know if she's in Canada. She says, she says Levi, oh my god. She heard you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone wanted pork, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's Jane. She says her life is complete now. Because she saw me? Yeah. Cause he, and you said you loved her. Oh. Uh. He doesn't know how to take that. <laughs> you didn't want this anymore, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so three thorns. We're gonna kill these guys. They're very annoying. Okay, these are some jalapeno poppers he just brought me. Oh no, everybody's asleep now. What? I'm here. Okay, these guys are gonna annoy the piss out of me, I can already tell. I'm trying to fight them. At least they came in a group of three. If I get three at once. Well, you can't take it back. <laughs> Don't worry, he won't take it back. He's just not a very- he's not a very online person, so a lot of times he does not understand um, certain things and euphemisms, and like, you get the idea. <laughs> So he doesn't know. He he doesn't have any concept of why somebody online would like say, "Oh my God, my life is complete" or something like that. Like he just doesn't understand that. <laughs> He's a normie, y'all. Oh my god, why do they get to go so many turns? Alright, bring Titus back to life. That's very Mr. Jane, I get it totally. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think him and Mr. Jane are probably kindred spirits in that regard. Oh my god, stop pollening me! Those are really good jalapeno poppers. I think I'm only gonna eat one though, because I wanna eat more of my fries. What? Everybody's asleep? 
Wake up! Oh, they all woke up. Okay, fabulous. Um, why don't you cure yourself? Nutter Butter Bars in media, kinda. Okay, I'll have to go take a peek. Oh my god, this battle's lasting forever, you guys! Now they're all asleep again! I hate these. <sighs> oh, Yuna woke up. Good. Okay, everybody woke up. Alright, well, let's just pray. Let's go look at these Nutter Butter Bars. Looks like bomb. Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Jane, it does kind of look like bomb. Uh, I'm sure they're delicious, but... <laughs> It doesn't look very good. Maybe I should not have asked for a picture. Maybe I should have just asked you to tell me about them. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Alright, so this place is pretty linear. You kind of just, like, walk down it. Um, you don't really have to think too hard about it. Mm, let's... Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, how do I want to do this? So this is an epage and an imp. I need to mark those off. Um, imps I think you can also get in Mount Gagazet. Yes, okay. Let's bring in Waka to get the imp. Oh no, Waka's already in the party. Okay. So why don't I just do this, do this. So you should kill the imp in one hit. Yep. Um, kind of lol. They're in the freezer for 20 minutes and they're so perfect. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're like a frozen treat. That was awesome. I mean, I'm sure they're tasty. There's plenty of stuff that I eat and I think is delicious, but looks uh, absolutely Woo! ugly. So, I, uh, I, I, I understand. <laughs> Um, do you want to hear, like, the nastiest, grossest food that I make? After this cutscene. What's a faith doing in a place like this? Don't ask me. They say it was stolen from a temple long ago. Huh? With no faith, summoners cannot train. Without training, they cannot call the final Aeon. Without the final Aeon, they cannot defeat Sin. That is why. Cause no, then I, had summoner won't die. I just want to get more fries. No. Mm. That must be what the thief was thinking. Agree with him. Mm -hmm. Of course you do, Titus. What'd you miss, Kitty? The food delivery. Yeah, sorry. I got fries. Levi said hi. You'll have to go back and look at it on the VOD. Alright, so these guys are called Yowies. So we got three of those. Oh man, she should be fast enough. What's oh, up yeah. with that? Yeah. <laughs> Levi loves everyone but you. That's not true. That's not true. See ya. You like that? He does love Jane especially because she always asks about the pork though. So he knows he knows that you're the pork lady. And for some reason he thinks you live in Canada. I don't think I don't actually know exactly where you live, but I don't think it's Canada. So I don't know why he thinks that. <laughs> but yeah. 
Of course I still love you, kitty. Pizza! Every time I have pizza, I think of Lunar. <laughs> oh, I do want her still, because I want her to steal from this guy. Alright, so there is an epage and an imp. I love all you guys. I don't really know. I don't, what do you mean? Prove it. As if it's a question. Don't doubt my love. It is real and it is here. And it is for you. And for me. And for you, of course. Did, did y'all hear that to the microphone pick it up? <laughs> Levi was lurking out the door. <laughs> Three more of those yaoi's, that's good. Um, no, this group is fine. They can all do it. They're my fastest ones, so I mean, in theory, oh, yeah. Riku should be able to hit them, but she can't for some reason. I guess she's not got enough spear levels. So her speed's not actually fast enough, even though she's a speed character. Oh, no, she can yeah. hit it sometimes. Okay, just not very well, I guess. Case closed. Case closed. Sure. Good job, Riku. Yeah, so this place is pretty linear. Oh, I didn't tell you guys yet about the grossest food that I make. Okay, so when I make, like, dip for myself that I'm gonna, like, eat with chips, this is what I do. I take guac, sour cream, red salsa, um, and then... Oh, I got the right one. Oh, no, I didn't. It self-destructed. Um, and, uh, and sometimes other stuff, you know, depending on what we have in the house exactly. And I, like, mix it all up, and it looks like the grossest dog food in the world, and I can't believe I just fucking got a game over after all that work that we did to get in here. So we have to run back through this cavern of the Stolen Faith. Um, <laughs> fantastic! At least I saved right before the cavern. Um, yep. I definitely thought I could survive that, so... Seven layer dip pared down. Yeah, it's seven layer dip, but I don't do the layers. I mix it all up so it looks disgusting. Okay, well, let's get back to where we were in the cavern. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, so now I have no idea how much I've captured of various things that I've gotten in here. And we'll get to watch the cutscene again, I guess. Because you can't skip cutscenes in this game. <sighs> oh, lordy. So I'll have to go back and look later. Oh no, I am not fighting these guys again on stream. This took too long before. Who cares if you mix it? Yeah, it is all the same after- That's why I mix it up, because I think it tastes better. But it looks disgusting. You used to be pro-mix pro and now I'm very every bite is unique. Oh, I don't know, I'm very pro-mix. I'm pro-mix on my food. It makes it look gross, but it's tasty. I do the same thing when I eat hibachi, like at the, um, at the hibachi restaurant. Mix it all together. Alright, we can get these guys. That's fine. Yeah. Hey Karen, if I got myself a command, could I change what that command is in the future for free or would I have to rebuy it? No, you can change it, I don't care. Um, you don't have to keep it the same for forever if you're feeling something different later. It would not make you buy a new one. It's just, of course, you'd, you'd lose that one, so, you know, it'd still be the same one you got, we'd just change it. I'm pro mix generally, but I'm not paying enough attention to assemble unique bites of food. Yeah, <laughs> I'm usually uh, doing stuff while I eat, unless it's like dinner, you know, and I'm eating with everybody, and you know, it's like conversation with the family. Um, otherwise, I'm doing doing that stuff. Both of you would assume I know what I'm doing. <gasps> oh, I love it! Oh, I love it! Okay, do you want that to be exclamation thumper? Is that the exclamation thumper that we're finally getting? Hello, kitty cat. <clears throat> Lady is uh, is here to smell my food. Thumper. Okay, I hear you. Um, we're doing it. Hang on, it's I can't see what I'm doing on that small screen. Okay, dashboard. That's what I want. Okay, I'm setting it up for you right now. While I go 
catch up to where I was before. Except without fighting those thorns. <laughs> okay. Um. Gotta go to the bot. I'm gonna play while I add this command at the same time. Oh no, he's stoned! That's okay, because now they're dead. I have to make sure exclamation thumper is included in the secret. Confirm. Okay. Here we go. There we go. We have an exclamation thumper now. Finally. It took it took him forever. What is a faith doing in a place like this? Don't She's trying to get my attention so hard by like being destructive. Stop that. Stop destroying things. Ago. We already saw this cutscene. That's the one thing with this with remake. No I don't faith. understand why they don't Someone let me skip cutscenes. Um, like it's it's a PC remake. Like, come on. Without training, they cannot call the final Aeon. Without the final Aeon, they cannot defeat Sin. That is why. <clears throat> Cause then the summoner won't die. <laughs> I'll just be sure to run from those things instead of accidentally mugging them the like I did it. with Riku, and then I die. <laughs> uh, well, I kind of agree with him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continuing on. Yeah, it really is. It's pretty intense. Okay, I think that's actually another Nidhogg because I only got one group like this before. They are out for Kamari's blood! And the poison got him. Alright. Come on, Yuna. Bring him to life. What's up, lady? You here to cause chaos? Okay, bye. I love this cat, but I think sometimes she loves me too much. She's like really stuck on me. Wants attention only from me kind of thing. Like there are other people in the house, but she wouldn't know about it. Too easy. Okay, we're not gonna die again. <laughs> Go get this chest again. We were almost at the end, too. And they're super out for Kamari. <laughs> so rude! Okay. Come here, Yuna. Yuna Pick him up. I mean, this is a later part of the game, so of course the monsters are a bit harder. That's part of why I came here later, you know, instead of doing it at the time that we passed this area. Um, let's cure Draga him first, and then I'll cure his poison. And then I can get his HP back up at least. Alright, now we can Essie now. <clears throat> I 
Mm, come on, Waka. Well, let's do Titus. Get, pull out the big guns. There we go. Farewell. Farewell. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. Thank you, Orin. Good job. Okay. <laughs> we caught back up to where we were before. Only in much less time because I decided to skip that fight with those three thorns. <laughs> oh, they were ridiculous. Alright. We are just running. I won't go so easy Don't try to steal from it or anything crazy like that. So apparently if it blows up, it can do enough damage to actually kill all of my people. I don't have, like, Orin or somebody else with high HP in my party at the time. Okay, I guess... Yeah, let's do another... Let's do a thorn fight. We'll just try to kill them fast. What's that pollen? It's, this is so annoying. Why they group them in three like this, I don't understand. Like, one thorn should be enough at once. And puts all my people to sleep. Good lord. gonna take forever once again. Oh, and he killed one. Fabulous. Alright, come on. Give me Waka's turn. There we go. Alright. Let's pick Titus back up. And we should probably um, do Haystaga so I can get some more turns. Yeah. I mean, if Walker can get hits on them, if they don't pollen so much, then he can kill them pretty fast. And they're all asleep again. Uh, walk a haste. Oh, fabulous. Damn, they pollen too much. I thought he would fire. If I get another game over, let them be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Should have enough HP, though. There we go. Die. Jesus. Very annoying little critters. Okay. Um, come here, Yuna. Cure these guys. Is there a chest over here? No. I think there's something down here. Oh no. Oh, and they're ambushing me. No, give Titus a turn. You better not fall in third one. You better fire. There we go. Now I can run. Live and let live. Live and let live indeed. We are going to eventually have to fight groups of them, but like, not right now. Okay, so there's a fortune sphere. Okay, we can do this. Um, no, we'll keep Titus in. Yeah. Um, no. Let's bring your Riku to steal. If and you say one of so. If I say so. <gasps> okay, Riku. Imps are one of the ones I'm gonna have to check how many I have. I'm unsure since I died before. Same thing with these epoches. It's over. It's over. Okay. 
Yep, I got the right group. Don't need to swap anybody out. Kill him fast. Take that. Goodbye. I'm good, yeah? Yeah, you're good, Waka. Almost made it to the chest. Oh, here's a ghost. So these are interesting. They're gonna cast Doom, and then basically you have to kill them before the Doom goes. So we're gonna do that. Check this out. Check this out. Oh my god. Do it! I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> Oops. Uh, okay. This is definitely our first ghost that we're fighting. Yeah. Oh, he can't damage it. Oh, that's the other thing with ghosts. It's totally random, like, what their um, elemental stuff is going to be. Um, you don't know. When you first fight them, it changes every time. Alright, and then in here... Oh, y'all remember these? There's another Albed Primer! So, we now can do O to Y. So we've got almost all the Albed Primers. There's only one more in the game that we don't have. Okay, we're gonna save again here. Another Yaoi group. Let's get them. <clears throat> Can Orin hit one? I don't know if he's fast enough. Okay, guys, we're almost there. So start thinking of names that you want for this optional Aeon that we're about to go get. Um, he is... Let's do this. Let's do Spear Grid for Yuna. Um, he is a, a greedy boy. You'll see when you meet him. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Here we go. Crap! Another Guado fiend? No, an unsent. It is. It's you, is it not, Lady Ginnum? Forgive me. I was too young. <laughs> I think last stream when I said this was going to happen, Jane suggested jingles. Now it's it for this guy. Whoa, what's happening? Why can't you send her? There is no human left in you now, is there? Very well then. Allow me to perform my last duty to you. My last as your guardian. Oh, this is so sad. Poor Lulu. Not only did she fail, but now she has to kill her failure. So, here's what we're going to do. So, Snuggles, Cuddles, Kisses, Floopy, Giggles. Giggles is what we named our new guy last time. So, we're going to bring out Giggles. The Nutter Butter Bars are too good. Oh, that's awesome, Jane. Jane, you're just in time to, to meet, um, I guess, Jingles. I guess we're going to name him Jingles. I think that's been the best suggestion so far. So, this is what we're going to go with. So you're just in time to meet Jingles, and um, we're gonna first meet him by killing him. 
a tea garden I made for FV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like the FV tea garden area. Okay, so here's Anima, um, our crazy lady we got last time. So we're going to do Anima's overdrive so you guys can see that. Last time we saw this, it was being done on us, so this is pretty awesome. Yeah, Giggles has changed. This is Anima. Um, pretty is Anima's got a pretty amazing story, Thumper. You you should probably go back and find that the section where we got got her in the um last stream. It was really cool. Okay, let's do pain so you guys can see that attack. This is the eyeball attack that um, Anima was doing when Seymour summoned her uh, back in Luca all those episodes ago. Alright, well, let's do a regular attack. Bye. Sorry about it, lady. <sighs> Strange. I thought it would be sadder somehow. It's pretty sad, Lulu. Maybe I've gotten used to farewells. You're stronger now. Waka. I hope you're right. <sighs> Yuna. The faith is inside. Go do what you came to do. Okay. Here we go. Our next optional Aeon. Well, first we're gonna go this way, because there's some treasure. Let's get these treasures. Okay, now let's go pray the Yojimbo, better known as Jingles. This guy's safer hunting gods than trying to score a goal in water soccer. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> plead of vengeance. They dare only whisper my name. Yojimbo. Yojimbo. Son look at how his I dog used to look when he was what alive. Do you want of me? Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Basically, you have to pay this guy. He's a mercenary. So there's three answers here, and to defeat the most powerful of enemies, we'll get you the lowest price. If you desire my strength, you must pay my price. Okay, so he's going to give you an offer. asking price, and then you can offer him. So he's, this is the first asking price when you choose this option. And you want to give 50% plus one. So that's 125, and then one gill, like that. Do we have a deal? And then he lowers his price a bit, right? 
and then you give him 50% plus one again. So that's going to be 112, and then 5, 501. Yeah. So we make that offer. And then he lowers it again, and then you give him 70% plus one, which is going to be 141, uh, 7, 5, 1. That should be right. Yes, I think so. Okay. And then this is the lowest price you can possibly get to pay him. And then you just give him that much. Adequate. You are my client henceforth. And there we go. My we got him. My shall guard you on your journey, Summoner. <laughs> All right, so jingles it is. That, did I spell that right? Yes, jingles, okay. Yes. What a cool scam, right? And then, you remember there was a teleporter back at the beginning, so we can just teleport back out again. And then you're back at the beginning of the, of the area. So what I'm gonna do next is just run and save right here. Okay. Um, and let's go back. Oh, actually... This would be faster if I just board the airship first. So we're going to board the airship and go back to Calmlands, and let's try again to find that last ogre. And I also need to check and see. Since I died, I lost count of how many different things I needed in certain areas. So I need to check that too. Calmlands. Yeehaw! Here we go! Yeehaw! Okay, back to Calmlands, and let's get a Chapunka Ball! Let me ride. Alright. Let's go get Count again. I guess I got enough of those dragon guys. Yes, I understand. Okay. Let's look at calm lands. Okay, so yes, I need one more flame plan, two shreds, and one more ogre, and that's it. Okay. What about Cavern of the Stolen Faith? So I've got six yaoi, so I need four more of those. I've got only gotten three imps. Uh, six dark elementals. Did I mark that right? Yes, six Nidhogs. Um, where are you listed? I think you can actually encounter the Nidhogs. Yeah, okay, I got that. I only got the three thorns. Yes, I know. Epages, I got two of those. Yes, that's right. And one ghost. Okay, so my counts are all accurate. Did I unlock anything else? I guess not. All right. <coughs> let's get back on our Chibokobo and let's go try to find that last ogre. So we can be done with calm lands. Come to me. No, not you. Got you covered. Yeah, Looking covered running man. away. I 
won't go so easy on you next time. I really want to be done with the monster capturing in the Calmlands area this stream. I need this to work out. Come on. You can do it, Titus. Find me that ogre. There we go. Good job. Yes, it will be. He would put Lauren to sleep. So rude. Oh yeah. All right, this is all the ogres. Wonderful. Okay, I just need to go into the lower area um, of Calmlands and get some more shreds and flame plans, but those should pop up pretty easily. They are pretty common, uh, pretty common spawn, so it won't I won't have to like search so hardcore around a specific area to find them. They should be like all over this bottom area. Like around this main kind of like big area. Should be able to find them. The same groupings that I was having earlier, what was like a flame plant, a shred, and a um Nebros, I think is how you say the wasp in this area. Whatever the wasp in this area is. Oh there we go, there's a flame plan. <clears throat> Let's get Kamari. Okay, so that's enough flame plants. And then I just need two shreds. Rude by Raga and me. All right, two more shreds, come on. At least they didn't put Titus to sleep, we can still flee. So we're good on these guys. Live and let live. Live and let live. Oh my god, not this group. Give me the Flame Flame and Shred group. I'll be right the other back. common group. The other most common group. There we go, there's a Shred. Walker, take out the wasp. Sit back and watch. <clears throat> Woo -ha! Woo -ha! I love your enthusiasm, Walker. Good job. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I need to switch out walk with Titus. Oh, not necessary. There we go. Okay. One more shred. One more shred. My turn now. I'll be right back. <laughs> sure you will be, Titus. Sure you will be. If you say so. There's another ogre. Don't need you no more. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Live and let live! What is flea?
There we go, last one. And that is all the calm lands once captured. Okay, let's run over to this save point over here. We're gonna do our sphere grid. And I also want to put some abilities on our on Anima. We didn't do that last stream, so I want to see if we have enough stuff to put some abilities on Anima and Yojimbo. Oh, I would get a... <laughs> they would want to fight me right here. Oh, actually, let's kill this shred just to make sure that I counted right. And then we'll flee. Yep, shred capture limit reached. Fabulous. We did it! We did it! We did it! Hooray! That won't go so easy on you next time! Okay, so let's do... Let's put some abilities on... Um, Giggles here. Jingles can't get abilities, by the way. The way that he works is a little bit different. Um, I'll show you guys next opportunity we get. But Giggles can definitely get some, some abilities. So let's see what we can get for Giggles. Alright, we can definitely get the nulls for them. Haste. Um, I don't know why it's you can put Hastaga on your Aeons. It doesn't really make sense to me. Um, like, why would they need more than just Haste? It's kind of weird. Alright, it looks like... He doesn't either can't get or doesn't need any of those. We could do Demi. We can put Demi on a lot of them. Yeah, that's good. I feel like Demi matches also with Giggles anyway. Mm, we can give him Protect and Shell. Why not? That's a good idea. Uh, I don't really care about Reflect. Oh, we have lots of Purifying Salt, so we can give them Dispel. Let's give. I don't know. Revives a KO character. Revives a KO. I don't know what the point is, like, for life on an Aeon. Let's give him the nulls. Because why not? We gave him to everybody else. Um. Let's see. The three stars is double cast. Four springs for Lancet. Lowers enemies' luck. Oh, these use spheres. Probably don't want to do that. We could do... We can do double cast. I think that's a good idea. Alright, let's see if we can put some abilities on anybody else. Ooh, yeah. Oops, silence attack, yes. What about armor break? Oh no, that's level 2 key spheres. I don't want to do that. Um, double cast, yes. Good, good. Let's do the nulls. Give him haste. Um, I think that's fine. Oh, no demi. Yeah. Oh, bio. Yes. Okay. Let's look at kisses. Oh, kisses can get silent attack. Okay. Let's see. Double cast. Yes. Haste. Shell. Um, dispel, sure. Oh, fire, yes. I've gotten a lot of stuff. Everybody's getting new abilities. I like to have my Aeons be OP, even though they're like kind of OP already. <laughs> I think that's really fun.
Let's do this Like all of these little abilities that we just didn't quite have enough stuff for before and really we didn't couldn't give it to them. But now that we've been doing so much of the um monster hunting quest, we have a ton of more items. Alright, so that's new abilities for everybody. Let's do our sphere grid as well. Forgot how to zoom in. How did I is it select? Start. Oh, it's okay. We'll go ahead and just move. Oh, I should have gone. Yeah. Let's actually go back and unlock that. It's just a level one key sphere. So we might as well. Okay, come on, Orin. Um, where are we moving you to? What's this down here? Delay attack? What's this over here? I'm not sure whose area that is. A delay attack would probably be good. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, let's go down here. The name flags are so big when you zoom out the sphere grid like this. They're like kind of super in the way. I wish they were like smaller, you know, in scale with everything else. Instead of like blocking my view. Quick hit, yay, that's his last ability. So I don't have any level three key spheres right now. So, excuse me. What to do, what to do. I take him back up there to the level 2 area and unlock and go that way. Because that's what that's what's the most efficient. Okay, there's a certain point where I think that's as far back as I can go. Yeah, that's as far back as it's letting me go. Wants to do some backtracking. It's what happens when you reach the end of the sphere grid for the characters. Alright. Come on, Waka. What's this? Armor break? Oh yeah, he's in Orin's area now. Um, let's take him down here. Oh, that's a blank thing, so we gotta move more. Alright, and then Riku. We don't have enough level 4 key spheres. No, we only have the one. Okay. So we were backtracking her to, I think, that level 2 area. There. as far back as it'll let her go. Okay. And let's go ahead then with that save. Alright guys. And that's it. That's it for Final Fantasy X today. We're going to go ahead and close the game. And thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, it was really exciting to have everybody in here. 
I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to find somebody to raid while I do some reminders. Um, please join me for my 200 follower stream party on Saturday. Yo, look at Coco's um, emotes. Look quiet, at Coco. Quiet. Hush. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, the Twitch website was not muted. Um, Please join me on Saturday for the 200 follower party. We're going to do our regular interstage window episode from noon to two. That's going to be Mulan versus Mulan, comparing the two Disney versions of Mulan. And then after that, we're going to have our party. So we're going to do um, Jackbox first. So Jackbox is from two to four. And then Among Us is from four to six. So don't miss it. It's going to be a awesome time. Yes, party party. All right, let me find somebody to raid. Oh, and, and next week on um, Artistic License, we're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy X. We're going to go into Remenim Temple. So it's another optional Aeon, but that's the main thing we're going to do next stream. Okay, um, let's do this. Pugzumis is playing Persona 5 Royal. I'm just going to check out his stream and make sure. Yeah, okay, he's on the game. He's not on a break or anything. That's who we're going to raid today. Okay, guys. So um, so tell him a nice uh, raid welcome from Karen. And um, tell him his pug is very cute. He's got the pug on his little, uh, like, kitty doggy cam thing right now. So pug zoomies. There we go. All right. Thank you again, everybody, for joining me. Um, I will see you all on Saturday. Uh, next artistic license is on Thursday, so I'll see you then too. And don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day. All right, have fun watching some Persona 5, guys.